Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, my video blog on discipleship. And today I would like to talk to you about courage, the virtue of courage. Now, yesterday uh, I was preaching on Acts chapter 20, where Paul meets with the Ephesian elders. And one of the amazing things he says to them is this, that I did not shrink back from declaring to you the whole purpose of God. And I love that. I've, I've talked about that on this Holy Habitus blog before. He says, I did not shrink back. I went the whole hog with you. I went 100 percent. And I was inspired by it and challenged by that because so often in life I'm tempted to shrink back, to not give the 100 percent, but to give the 70 or 80 percent. And uh, actually, if we know something's right, we should give ourselves to it fully, uh, whether it's in word or in action, to not shrink back, but to be courageous. And so um, and that's what we need to do. Um, C.S. Lewis once said that courage is not just one of the virtues, but the form of every virtue at the testing point, which means at the point of highest reality. In other words, um, courage isn't just one amongst many. Uh, all virtue requires courage at the testing point. So love requires courage from us uh, when it gets difficult or painful. F uh, faith requires courage as we step out in faith. Um, hope requires courage, patience requires courage, forgiveness requires courage at the testing point. And so we need to be a people of courage. And throughout scripture, God exhorts his people, encourages his people to have courage. He encourages, he puts courage into them um, via his spirit. And I think of Joshua on the verge of Dor Jordan being told, be strong and courageous. I think of Gideon in the wine press being visited by the angel uh, and told he's a mighty warrior um, and God is with him. I'm, I'm thinking of the disciples in the book of Acts praying for boldness to proclaim the word and the message of Jesus. And I'm thinking of Paul uh, writing to Timothy saying God did not give us a spirit of timidity but of power and of love and of self-control. And so we need to be a people of courage. This week uh, how about praying to God for the gift of renewed and deepening courage in, in all your words and actions to be a, a courageous people and looking for those opportunities to show courage, looking at those moments when we we're tempted to shrink back or hold back um, and instead to, to step forwards and to say, no, I will not be timid nor under pressure fold. I will not be timid. Lord, make me bold. 